What's going on guys, my name is Triforce Addiction. Welcome back to another COD Mode video. So today we are going to talk about the buff for the Type 25, more specifically a buff to its special attachment, which is the stopping power rounds. So as you guys know, the Type 25 uh, a few months back was actually meta alongside the M13 and the CBR4. It was kind of like an alternative to the M13. They were kind of, well, really they were kind of interchangeable uh, between the two. They both kind of acted the same way. Of course, with the Type 25, there are better chances to four shot compared to the M13, where you have to be a little bit more precise. But since then, the Type 25 was nerfed, uh, not to the ground, but it was just nerfed enough to make it still usable, but not very superior. So you guys know they made some nerfs to the magazine specifically with the 42 round fast reload as well as just the reload speed in general and even the bullet spread accuracy. But mainly the nerfs came from the BSA and just I guess the reload speed but especially for the mags you know the 42 round fast reload uh, the ADS time got re got <laughs> increased significantly the reload time got slowed down pretty hard to almost to the point where it's just a basic reload speed. And for stopping power, I don't really think there was any changes other than just adding more downsides to it, such as bullet spread accuracy loss, as well as ADS speed. So in the Season 9 update, what they decided to do is kind of like undo the changes that were for the stopping power reload. So now the way it works is that it no longer has any ADS speed downsides, but it's still, I don't know if it still has its reload downsides, but from what I understand, like most of the downsides have been decreased in some capacity. So for example, the vertical recoil was increased a long time ago to like 20% and horizontal was, I, I believe, 15%. So it was pretty high with recoil if you want to use stopping power. Obviously, even bef even during that time, it still wasn't really worth using because getting four shots is extremely difficult, especially with the Type 25. Uh, it just didn't really work out, especially with stopping power. And not only that, they did increase the multipliers for the stopping power rounds. So now it, within two ranges, you're gonna be able to four shot. Of course, keep in mind, the ranges aren't that large. It really goes up to like 17 meters before you can no longer f headshot. But another thing that they also did with the multipliers is add a three shot, uh, I guess a three shot capability for the headshots. So if you manage to land three shots to the head, it will be a three shot kill. Unfortunately, that won't be the case if you like shoot one and maybe two to the body. One thing that you do need to take note of is that these multipliers do not apply when you're not using stopping power. So uh, you only get this type of damage when you're using stopping power and nothing more. So the class up that I chose today was the MIP Extended Light Barrel with full ammo OWC laser, uh, strike foregrip, and of course, obviously the stopping power. So yes, uh, I kind of went for a more loud and proud type of style with more accuracy, just so it could hit a little bit further away. So it's time to give my final closing thoughts. Honestly, when it comes to the Type 25 and its stopping power reload, I always found it to be a very, very pointless attachment because just the regular rounds were able to do just as much damage and with less downsides. So I think it was actually a good thing that they changed it because now stopping power actually has a purpose. And given the fact that all these weapons are much stronger now, I wouldn't mind having uh, the Type 25, you know, be a little bit more dominant. Uh, especially since like, I mean, we're about to get the Krig 6 and we already have like a lot of other weapons. I heard the ICR is already being used at this point in time. So yeah, it, it's a good change. But anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe for some more COD Mobile content. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.